Hello everybody, uh, Winston Plows here again for my third appearance, trying to help you write some poems for the Barnsley Museum's poetry competition. And this week I'd like to talk about rhyming, because rhyming is great. Um, this workshop is for some of our younger writers, and I think those guys especially will find that it's great to rhyme their poems. I want to tell you a little bit of a story and read you a poem. So this is a story about the children of a famous poet, and he was called Robert Southey. And um, they lived in the Lake District, and he used to take his kids down uh, to a, a waterfall uh, called the Cataract of Lodore. So a cataract is just a fancy name for a waterfall that doesn't go straight down, it just goes down a slope, maybe like steps. And I don't know, maybe the weather was bad or something and they couldn't go one time. And so they said to her, their dad, who was, a, as I said, a famous poet, so they said, actually called him the King of Rhyming. So if anybody could pull off a great poem, it should be him. So they said, Dad, write us a poem in rhyme. Tell us how the water comes down at Lodore, please. And so he had a go. Um, and my goodness me, did he come up with a poem. Um, a poem which is... It's just a tumbling waterfall of words. And he chose to rhyme a lot of those words by choosing the letters I-N-G at the end. So you could do that in your poem. You could think about what's happening now and your time as we come out of lockdown and all the things that are going on. And maybe think of words to describe what's going on that end in I-N-G. Just make a collection of them on a piece of paper, then maybe try to slot them together. Maybe a little bit like... Uh, Robert Southey has done. So let's read the poem and then I'll, I'll have a lie down because it's, it's quite a task uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll leave things up to you. So here we go then. This is the answer uh, that Robert Southey gave his kids when they asked him, Daddy, how does the water come down at Lodore? And he said, well, from its sources which well in the tarn on the fell, from its fountains in the mountains, its rills and its gills, through moss and through brake, it runs and it creeps for a while till it sleeps in its own little lake. Then hence at departing, awakening and starting, it runs through the reeds and away it proceeds through meadow and glade, in sun and in shade and through the wood shelter among crags in its flurry. Helter skelter, hurry scurry. Here it comes, sparkling, and there it lies, darkling, now smoking and frothing, its tumult and wrath in till, in this rapid race on which it is bent, it reaches the place of its steepest descent. Retreating and beating and meeting and cheating, delaying and straying and playing and spraying, advancing and prancing and glancing and dancing, recoiling, turmoiling, and toiling and boiling, and gleaming and streaming, and steaming and beaming, and rushing and flushing and brushing and gushing, and flapping and rapping and clapping and slapping, and curling and whirling, and purling and twirling, and thumping and plumping and bumping and jumping and dashing and flashing and splashing and crashing, and so never ending, but always descending, sounds and motions forever are blending, till at once and all over, with a mighty uproar. And that's how the water comes down at Lodor. <laughs> uh, 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 right, I think I'm OK. So, <laughs> so there's a collection of words uh, ending in ing, which are almost all verbs. It's going to be an exciting poem, and my goodness it is. So maybe you could follow the example at Robert, of Robert Southey. So... Just before I go, um, you will, you might not have heard of him, but actually you know his poems because Robert Southey is the author of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And without him, we also wouldn't have the word zombie in our language, which I think is quite cool. OK, go and find your pen and pencil and something to write on and get making those lists of words ending in ing. See if you can knit them together into a poem. Have fun. Happy writing. Bye for now.